internet search engines return more than three million hits on the words aggressive driving and road rage. These terms emerged in the 90s to describe a serious problem on our roadways. Drivers believed unsafe driving was a major personal threat to them and their families. They feared for their own safety, maybe more than they feared impaired drivers. Much like DUI, aggressive driving started to become a separate enforcement issue. Behaviors often matched the contributing factors in collisions, following too close, speeding, and improper lane changes. Fast forward to today. We feel the pressure of time and seem to live in an accelerated state in all aspects of our lives. We try to make every minute count. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, nearly 80% of crashes involve some form of driver inattention. The most common distraction for drivers continues to be cell phones and other electronic devices. Roadway construction is not keeping up with the number of licensed drivers, vehicles registered, or miles driven. As frustration over congestion builds, many drivers respond with higher risk taking behind the wheel that often continues well after the backup ends. Aggressive driving isn't slowing down. Vehicles can give drivers the feeling of being unidentifiable on the road. Lane number one. Wow, he points his finger like a gun at that guy. Nobody knows who you are. You can make hand gestures. You know, you can do whatever you want until you get caught, obviously. I guess when you're in your car, that's one place where you actually have a little power, you know? Like, you're, you're the master of the universe for that eight square feet or whatever it is that's in the car. And he was flashing his lights at me to get over and everything else. And I thought to myself, why would I want to get over? Because I'm not breaking the law. I'm in the carpool lane, and he's a single guy trying to get in front of us, you know? So how do we influence driver behavior? The response is a combination of enforcement, education, and assistance. 92. In Washington state, troopers working the road focus on one of the state patrol's core missions, traffic law enforcement. We find and arrest drunk drivers, locate and arrest dangerous speeders and aggressive drivers, and continue to increase our nation-leading seatbelt compliance. These marked patrol vehicles are the agency's main enforcement tool and remain the most noticeable part of traffic law enforcement. On Memorial Day weekend in 1998, a less visible presence merged onto our roadways. Two Washington State Patrol troopers driving unmarked and alternative police vehicles began proactively searching for and arresting aggressive drivers in the Seattle area. The patrol defines aggressive driving as two or more moving violations likely to endanger other persons or property. Any single violation that requires the defensive reaction of another driver or speed 20 or more miles per hour above the posted limit. This is a major focus of the State Patrol's efforts to reduce fatal and injury collisions on Washington roadways. The Aggressive Driving Apprehension Team, or ADAT, now has 40 troopers in the program. They never have a shortage of dangerous drivers to identify and stop. He's pulling ahead of me and I'm doing 85. Oh, he's gonna, oh, that's an egg. He's just sliced between those trucks. Our state is getting busier and busier and people are becoming more and more impatient because the traffic is getting heavier and heavier. So they're going to speed up. They don't want to wait. Incidents of motorists being challenged or threatened has become an everyday event. You're almost 90 miles an hour back there in the 60 mile an hour zone, sir. What was up with pointing your finger like a gun at that guy back there? The patrol uses citizen input and other data to determine where to strategically locate ADAT vehicles. People driving on the road see somebody driving aggressively like that and they always wish that you know, there was a cop around. That, the old saying, there's never a cop around when you need one. Well, this is the cop that's around and he's watching it happen and he's able to pull those people over. The Washington State Patrol has also developed a new resource for citizens to report where they feel aggressive drivers are endangering our roadways. The State Patrol has developed an aggressive driving web page. So if you see aggressive driving, you can't safely call 911 at the time, you can go home, click on the State Patrol website, go to the aggressive driving button at the bottom. From there, fill out all the pertinent information, the vehicle license plate, the vehicle type, where the violations occurred, and what you saw happen. From there, the district will then contact you with follow-up information. The website gets close to 1,500 reports annually, and calls received by 911 radio operators number 15,000. Unmarked ADAT vehicles represent only 6% of the total troopers on the road. 
Yet this group makes nearly one quarter of the aggressive driver stops statewide. I get to focus on the people that are 20 plus miles an hour over the speed limit. They know that they're speeding and uh, to be quite frank, they don't seem to care. Targeted enforcement not only makes our roads safer, but can lead to further citations and arrests. Okay, so what we have here is 95 and a 60, $276. She has no insurance in the vehicle, it's $538. And then she has no driver's license with identification. Another 538, total is $1,352. This is a new type of traffic law enforcement, utilizing unconventional, unmarked patrol vehicles to stop aggressive drivers. What we expect is for the public to pull to the right safely, as they always do, make their head check, get over safely. And what the public can expect is to see a fully uniformed trooper step out of that vehicle. ADAT's ability to blend in with other motorists can also have an effect on criminal activity. Since most criminals drive to and from their illegal actions, what starts as a stop for unsafe driving can reveal all kinds of non-traffic offenses. Hand me the pipe right now, please. Did you smoke this pipe today? I can smell it. it smells like marijuana, okay? Is there anything else in the car you know about? Now I'm going to search the car, okay? Next car. On the road, aggressive drivers seem to only care about their individual rights and freedom. Some even view driving as a competition. They allow their high frustration levels to diminish any concern for other motorists. Officers continue to see lives ruined by drivers venting anger and impatience. Now you're using a four to six thousand pound vehicle as a weapon. Washington State Patrol Detective Bruce Lance investigates the consequences of aggressive driving. In addition to being illegal, it's often clearly criminal. The Criminal Investigation Division has seen a noticeable increase in the number of injury and fatality collisions caused by aggressive drivers and road rage drivers. 25% of my caseload last year involved uh, road rage and aggressive driving collisions. Depending on the severity of the collision, drivers can be charged with either a Class B or a Class A felony. One of the most notable collisions occurred on State Route 512 within the city of Puyallup. Uh, two drivers were having disagreements on State Route 512 heading eastbound towards the Puyallup Fairgrounds. One of the suspects uh, pulled in front of the other suspect and locked his brakes up, uh, causing the second suspect to strike his vehicle. One of the vehicles lost control and veered onto the right shoulder of State Route 512. That suspect struck the victim vehicle. The victim vehicle leaves the roadway and flips several times. When responders arrived at the scene, the driver of the victim vehicle was trapped within the vehicle and was unresponsive. Generally, after, after talking to the suspect and the witnesses, we're, I'm trying to rationalize why someone would drive in such a manner. Uh, whether they take driving for granted, whether they think that their vehicle can't hurt anybody else. Even though I personally consider a motor vehicle a very, very large weapon. The reality is that high-risk drivers are a part of our commutes. The best strategy is to be a cautious and considerate driver yourself. If you are confronted by an aggressive driver, don't challenge them by speeding up. Make every attempt to safely get out of their way. Avoid eye contact. This can sometimes enrage an aggressive driver. Ignore gestures and refuse to return them. This will only escalate the situation. Finally, wear your seatbelt. It will hold you in the seat and behind the wheel in case you need to make a defensive reaction. And it will protect you in a collision. Data shows that the ADAT program provides the needed tools which allows troopers to identify aggressive drivers and get them off the road. The Washington State Patrol intent is to change life-threatening driving behaviors. Along with other partners and citizens, we will continue striving to increase safety on our highways by providing the best in public safety services.